Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So I'm so sorry this has taken me so long to get another styling haul up on my channel, but right now, getting things delivered is just an absolute nightmare. I honestly ordered this Zara and H&M order, I think like two weeks ago, but the delivery times, as I'm sure we all are aware, are just a little bit messed up with the current situation in the world right now. And so it finally has arrived, and I'm super excited about this haul because everything in it I'm just obsessed with. So for today's styling haul, I've styled up Zara and H&M pieces. I've tried to keep this haul very denim focused because I'm one of my favorite things to do is style denim. And I've also kept this very sort of easy, basic but not basic outfits, which I feel like in summer is my favorite way of dressing. So if you would like to see what I picked up from Zara and H&M, then please keep watching. So the first outfit I'm gonna show you guys, I'm wearing this pair of blue denim shorts. So these are from H&M, and I'm wearing these in a size 10. I feel like with all H&M denim, it comes up a little bit small. So I'm sort of a size nine, and sometimes I can get away with a size eight in jeans, but when I know they're gonna come up small, I always get a size 10. So in everything from H&M, I'm wearing a size 10 in the denim. So I'm in love with these blue shorts for two reasons. Number one, I love the denim denim colour. I really like the deep sort of darker blue denim. It's really nice. It's a little bit different from any of the other shorts that I have in my wardrobe. But I also love the fit of these. They are so comfortable. They're not too tight. You don't feel like you're restricted when you sit down. They're a really easy pair of shorts to wear. So as you can see here, I'm literally just wearing it with a black oversized t-shirt. So this black t-shirt is from H&M as well. This is such a staple. I buy so many of my plain t-shirts from H&M. I feel like H&M are amazing when it comes to basics for your wardrobe. So this shirt I'm actually wearing in a size large just so it's got that sort of more of an oversized fit And I've gone for a really simple sort of style with this So I'm just wearing this little crossbody bag that I've got to my YSL one This is one of my designer purchases that was just such a good one You know when you buy something and you wear it all the time This is one of those bags So I'm just styling it with that and then I've got these amazing noughts and kisses sunglasses on I love the orange frame I think they're really cool for summer It adds just like a really nice subtle pop of colour to the outfit And then for the shoes for this look I'm wearing my Naked Wolf trainers, which I'm obsessed with. I've been wearing these so much recently. And then just a pair of Nike sport socks. So then, as always, with all my hauls, here is a full-length mirror photo of this outfit all together so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like. So this next outfit, there's two things in this that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So first is this all-in-one bodysuit that I picked up from H&M, and this I'm wearing in a size small. Let me just double check. Yeah, so it's a size small in this one. I love this because it was really giving me Skims vibes. It's sort of an undergarment thing, but it's also thick enough that you can wear it on its own. So that's why I actually really liked it because it's got the sort of cycling shorts vibe, but it's obviously unitard. It's all in one perfect thing to style you can sort of put oversized jackets over it but you could also just wear like an oversized sweatshirt and have the shorts sort of like peeking out the bottom and also before I forget it's got adjustable straps which is always so important when you're wearing an all-in-one so then over the top of this I bought this massive oversized denim shirt so I got this in a size medium weird for me to say this I know but possibly it could have been too big but you know me, I love things that are oversized, so I'm not complaining. It does still look really cool, and I do love that it's kind of like a shirt dress, but it has got a denim jacket feel to it. So with this, I'm just wearing some black boots. These are the public desire boots that I've had in my wardrobe for ages. I will link them below if they are still available. I'm hoping that they are. These are sort of a boot that I, they're like a styling staple. I don't think I ever get rid of them, because I love the length of them. They're really comfortable, and they do just go with everything. I've got my oversized YSL Lulu bag on here. I wanted to accessorize these outfits with a few more sort of handbags and stuff as we get ready to sort of head outside. I wanted to add some more accessories to these outfits. So yeah, but this I actually really love and it's it feels like it should have been way more expensive than it was because the quality of this denim shirt is amazing. And then here is a full length of the denim jacket with the boots and everything. I do feel like you can just see it so much better in these pictures. I feel like they're really important because it's just, you get a different vibe when you see it in more of like an Instagram-y photo than just on a video. So I bought so many denim jeans for this haul because I actually love Zara and H&M denim jeans. I think they fit really well, but the H&M jeans that I've ordered, I'm so impressed with. There honestly was not one pair that didn't fit right. You know when you just do an online order, I mean, I've said this so many times, but when it arrives and it is just so good. So the first pair of jeans I wanted to show you guys is this sort of acid wash, kind of baggy style. I just love how this sort of baggy oversized style of jeans has come in. Not number one because they're so comfortable, but number two, I just feel like they fit 
really well. So these I got in a size 10, as I said, and they fit really well. But the reason I love these is that they've got the seam detail up the back of the jeans, which is very sort of designer inspired. It's a very sort of like Isabel Morant's sort of jean inspiration, I'd say. Um, with this, I'm just wearing that black t-shirt again. I actually styled this black t-shirt up three times because I wanted to show you how having a black t-shirt in your wardrobe is an absolute style staple and it goes with so much. So then also with this look, I'm just wearing another pair of these cat eye sunglasses. I did actually get these ones from H&M. I feel like I already have pairs like this in my sunglass collection, but I do wear them a lot so it can't hurt to have extras because I don't know about you, but my sunglasses do tend to go missing. And then I'm also wearing my Doc Martens with this. I feel like Doc Martens and denim are just such a perfect combination. I know I've said this before, but Doc Martens for me are such a styling essential. And then with this as well, I've just got this little black sort of 90s style shoulder bag. This is actually from Naked Fashion, but I will link it below for you guys. This bag I use a lot. It comes in handy, it goes with everything. It's just an easy sort of bag to have in your wardrobe. And then over the top of the black t-shirt, I have just put a little gold chain necklace. And like with all of my outfits, I've always got gold hoops on. I'm actually wearing the ones I've on here throughout this video they're the same ones throughout it all they're from Topshop but I got them a long time ago so I don't think they're actually on there anymore but I will link a similar option below because there's so many that are so similar to this so here is a full-length picture of this outfit so you can see it all together okay so next up we have an outfit that actually features this bodysuit I'm wearing here so this is also from H&M this I'm wearing it in a size small I love the cut of this bodysuit I feel like it works wonders for your shoulders I feel like the lower sort of racer cut detail kind of, I don't know, it just makes your collarbone and your shoulders just look really nice. So with this, I'm wearing another pair of H&M jeans. These ones are also so good. So these jeans have actually got a slightly like frayed, distressed hem on them, which I quite like when they're sort of unfinished. But again, I love the color of these and they fit really well. I feel like the denim that H&M uses is really soft, which just makes it comfortable to wear. So with this outfit, I've actually just styled it with this sort of oversized painted tote bag which I'm loving I actually love having tote bags at the moment I feel like they look really cool this one was like a little last minute purchase that I added onto my basket when I was shopping on H&M but I actually think it's going to come in handy I feel like this outfit's giving me real sort of summer vibes it makes me want to be going for like I don't know just somewhere somewhere hot and sunny and then I'm wearing my vans here just with my night socks so you can see them like a little bit peeking over the top and my sunglasses are from Noughts and Kisses I'm obsessed with these ones they're like nice and chunky the style of these are not sort of my normal go-to but I'm actually really liking the way that they look and so here is a full length of this outfit all together so that you guys can see what it looks like. Also, can I just apologize for this very hideous bruise that's on the back of my arm in all of these styling videos. It was annoying me so much. I was almost tempted to cover it up, but I was like, it's a bruise. I bruised like a peach. It's been there for ages. I don't even know where I got it from. It's definitely not a vibe. Okay, so they are all my little bits that I picked up from H&M and how I would be styling them together. So I'm gonna move on to the Zara bits now. So I've tried to style them like brand and brand, but you could so mix everything in this haul. But to start off with, the Zara section has to start with this cropped blazer because I am in love with it. So it goes without saying, Zara always just absolutely nail the sort of designer items, but like at high street prices. And this little cropped blazer is that exactly. Like it's just, I just love this. I feel like I'm going to wear it a lot. I love blazers anyway, so it's so nice to have sort of a summery version. So I thought with this, I would style it up in slightly more of like an evening outfit. So this is something I'd maybe wear for like a date night. I'm actually just wearing underneath this, this sort of black balcony bra. I actually find these bras really handy to have in my underwear drawer because they are really good for styling under things. So the only issue with this is you couldn't really wear this outfit if you knew that you needed to take your jacket off because granted you've only got a bra on underneath. So it's maybe as I say more of like a date night going for dinner sort of just sitting in it. Um, but you could just put you could just put a little sort of like plain black bandeau underneath this as well and it would work. And then so with this outfit I'm wearing a pair of these Zara jeans. So these Zara jeans again have got this sort of like distress cut off on the bottom of them. So I love these Zara jeans. They are really good but the other two that I'm about to show you I think are my favorite favorite jeans of the whole haul but these ones are also amazing so for the styling of this outfit I'm just wearing a pair of these heels here so these are from a brand called I want to say Alias May so these are actually from an Australian shoe designer 
if you haven't heard of them, follow them on Instagram. The shoes are to die for. They're a little bit pricey, but they're so comfortable. I feel like it's because they've got this sort of like tread on the bottom of them. I know that's a bit weird, but these are my go-to going out shoes because they're actually really, really comfy. They go with everything. And then the bag that I'm wearing with this look is this little Diamante sort of 90s style bag from Topshop. This I did get a while ago, so I will link it below if it's still available. If not, I'll find something similar because there's loads of sort of similar things to this out there. But this is one of my favorite bags to wear out in the evening because I'm not like a super glitzy dresser, but I like how it adds that sort of like dressiness to an outfit. And then here is the full length of this outfit so that you guys can see it all together and see the crop blazer and all of its glory. I'm actually obsessed with it. Okay, so this next outfit I'm so excited about. This is, I think, my favorite one in the whole haul. Number one, because these jeans are unreal. I just, they're high-waisted. They are oh, just, honestly, everything about these jeans I'm obsessed with. That reminds me, the Zara jeans are also all in a size 10. That cropped blazer before, sorry, I'm so bad at saying sizes. That was the size small. And the bodysuit that I'm wearing here is in a size small as well but these jeans so i think these are carrot style jeans i think that's what they called online i'll link the exact ones below for you guys of course um just so much i love about these the color the fit and the way the fact that they are super high waisted a lot of jeans sort of claim that they are but they sort of sit just like your the button sits like just on your belly button i love jeans when they actually do come up quite high and I just, oh, honestly, I just love them so much. They're so good. And then I'm wearing it here with the orange Knots and Kisses sunglasses because I thought, you know, goes really well together. Very sort of summer vibes, this. And then I'm also wearing my Naked Wolf trainers with this. This is sort of a real casual outfit. Maybe something that I would wear for like an all-day brunch or a barbecue. You know, one of those outfits where you want to look dressed up but not too dressed up. So then with this, I'm just wearing a little pendant that I've got from ASOS. I'll link that one below if it's still available. If not, I'll find something similar for you guys. And then I've got my little mini Louis Vuitton rucksack on with this. And then, so here is a full length of this outfit altogether. This bodysuit, I can't. I'm just obsessed with the colour of it. So next up, I've got a pair of denim shorts from Zara. I'm pretty sure I buy a new version of these every single summer. These are their, I feel like they call them Bermuda shorts. I, whatever they are, I honestly do. I buy a new pair every year just because they are the most comfortable denim shorts I think you'll ever own. Because of their slightly oversized fit, they are just a dream to wear. I actually always go a size up in these. So these are a size 10, but the size 8 fits me perfectly. The size 10 I need to wear a belt with, but I actually like that because I like wearing a belt with these. So as you can see here, I've styled this with that black t-shirt from H&M, but I've got this big chunky belt around the middle. So this is actually from Pretty Little Thing, this one. It's just a really handy belt to have in your wardrobe because the big gold buckle, I feel like these are great styling belts. But I like the way that when the shorts are a little bit bigger, when you put a belt around it, it sort of amplifies the sort of oversized look of the shorts, whereas you wouldn't really get that if the shorts fit you perfectly. I hope that makes sense. I feel like it does. And again, I'm wearing that little black naked bag with it because it's just an easy thing. It goes with absolutely everything. And for this look, I'm wearing my Doc Martin. I just love everything about this because it's just like simple on the top and then you've got like chunky boots and like a bit of gold detailing. It's just, yeah, this is like such a go-to summer outfit and it's comfortable. So there's just so many bonuses to this. So then here is a full length of the outfit so that you guys can see what it looks like all together. So the last outfit I wanted to show you guys, I thought we'd end on a bit of colour seeing as it is summer and the sun is shining outside as I film this. So I'm wearing here a pair of the Zara slouchy jeans. These ones I actually sized down in, so these I'm wearing in a size 8 because they do come up big. I think it's because of the oversized fit of them. I, again, I mean, I'm such one for comfort, honestly, just comfort over everything. And these are such a comfortable pair of jeans, they really are. But how cute is this little green crop top? I absolutely love the colour of this. I feel like this is such a nice way to add a pop of colour to your wardrobe in summer, just having something like a little simple racer top in a really bright colour. It's just a nice way to, you know, brighten things up. So with this, I'm wearing this gold belt around the middle of the jeans. This is actually from Pretty Little Thing, but I will link that one below for you guys. The bag that I'm wearing with this look with the gold chain, it's misguided, but it was a while ago that I got this. But I will see if this one is still available. If not, I will, of course, link an alternative below for you guys. And then finish this outfit off with my Doc Martens. These jeans actually are the perfect length to wear with Doc Martens because they kind of meet the top of the Doc Martens like perfectly. There's no gap in between, which sometimes I don't really like. So yeah, just a big, big fan of these jeans. 
So here is a full length of this outfit all together so you guys can see. I feel like it's got a real summer vibe to this one. So that is everything I have to show you in today's styling haul. I really hope that you've enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoyed filming this because I do feel like there's nothing better than a basic but not basic outfit. I feel like when you've got these sort of things in your wardrobe, you don't ever really struggle to get dressed because you can always just wear like a really good pair of jeans with a black t-shirt, you know. Please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching this one. I will, of course, link everything below for you guys, as always. I'm hoping there won't be as big a break between this one and my next styling haul. I'm hoping that deliveries start turning up a little bit quicker than they have been recently because I've got some really good ones on the way and I can't wait to start them up. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.